Hey guys, what's going on? Artu here. Um, here to talk about when worlds collide. Uh, this is number six <laughs> of the new imprint range from Vivision. Um, this is the second wave that they've just released for August. Yeah, beautiful. Um, and yeah, here's my thoughts. Uh, being a 1951 sci-fi, it, it gets an automatic love like <laughs> um, it gets a pass because I love sci-fi I'm a sci-fi uh, nerd from I guess as soon as I come out the womb I was into sci-fi um, and this was fantastic this was really really good um, it was this is a 4k scan of the original 35 millimeter uh, negative now about 98% of the movie looked fantastic. There was a couple of scenes where it was really bright and it was it was a little bit, you know, not 100%. I mean, it's probably, it's gonna look the best that it's, you know, that it's gonna look. It's not gonna look any better than this. Uh, and it was really good. The aspect ratio was four by three, which is fine. Um, but it was, it was fantastic. Essentially what happens is uh, there's a planet far off in the universe and it's gonna collide. Or that planet sun's going to collide with with us and we're all going to die i think they get given about eight months they find out the, the planet gets given about eight months and it's uh them just building a rocket and saving like uh i think they said they can save about 40 people <laughs> so it's pretty fucked but um and i you know if that was to happen in real life i wish the way that it happened in the movie was you know i wish that's how it would happen here because i can tell you right now um it would be absolute fucking mayhem, <laughs> but this is this is really good. Um, it was more so about uh, you know man's journey to the point of leaving the planet before it it uh, you know it just died, <laughs> exploded, um, and not necessarily about you know meeting uh, other aliens or or you know discovering this new planet and exploring this new planet, which is a that's not bad. But I would have loved to have seen um, uh, or read a book about a sequel uh, about them, uh, you know, colonizing this new planet or experiencing, you know, this new planet and these new uh, new aliens or, or whatever it was and just continuing the story because it just ends. Um, it, it has a satisfactory ending. Um, I just want to know what happens next. <laughs> I want the next chapter. But uh, yeah, this was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this one. There is a 90 minute... Um, extended interview on here with uh, Gene Roddenberry who did I'm pretty sure he did a uh, Earth Earth final conflict or something like that I don't know but I'm pretty sure he, he he's, he's very prolific in the sci-fi uh, universe no pun intended <laughs> um, yeah interviews with Gene Roddenberry Ray Bradbury and Ray Harryhausen um, which had no Ray Harryhausen stop motion in this at least he might have something to do with the miniatures in this but I don't think I, I don't know. Maybe they're just interviewing. Um, Ron Ed, uh, Roy Edward from Disney. Uh, Wa Chang, Russ Tamlin, and Duke Goldstone. I'm not going to watch it. I don't know who half those people are. As I said, I'm not going to give uh, researched opinions and facts that nobody cares about when I uh, talk about these movies. You know, th this could have been the 17th highest grossing sci-fi from 1951. Um, back then, but who cares? <laughs> uh, I'm just here to give you my just a just a normal guy. Well, my mum thinks I'm normal. Just an everyday guy and his thoughts on movies that he's never seen before, and in particular this new imprint range from Vivision Australia, which I'm just so happy they made and decided to to do. But definitely a worthy um, entry into this uh, range. I. There's only one sci-fi. There was kind of two sci-fis in the last set. Um, yeah, Sci so Married a Monster or something like that. It was really, I mean, that was uh, that was really uh, B-grade, <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> but yeah, this was awesome. I really enjoyed this one. Um, the miniature effects look so good. I could just imagine that when they were making that, um, they would have just had so much fun because it was. It's a big disaster. It's, it's you know, it's not a spoiler. It's a disaster on the front cover. But, you know, they build all these miniatures up and these miniature towns and stuff like that and cities and forests and all that sort of awesome shit. And then they just get to destroy it. That would have been awesome. You don't see that anymore these days because of, you know, CG. But um, 
it, it just was was fantastic. It was really good. Uh, the acting was great. I still can't get over how they can just sit there with a camera and it could be just one shot for five minutes. You know, I've done a lot of stage acting before and you, you have to get it right. There's no second take. Um, these guys, if they fucked up, then they would have had to, um, you know, reset and just done so much. I could only imagine, I would have loved to have been able to see what it was like to make a movie back then because it was, there was no different cuts all the time, seeing the different people's faces, you know, and you could say one line and then cut and then go to the other person's face and say another line and you could sort of, uh, do it that way but this was just all one continuous take and that's that's awesome i was watching the background people they were all standing in character and the foreground people were saying their dialogue and everybody was doing something they weren't just standing there and just saying dialogue to each other there was there was always something going on and that was awesome that was really good so yeah definitely um one to check out if you haven't seen it yeah uh i'm just ugh. I just loved it. <laughs> I just really enjoyed this one. Really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I'm going to have to... I will have a look and see if there is actually some form of um, continuation to the story, though, because I, I, I just want to know what happens next. I was that hooked into it. I just want to know what happens next. But yeah, check this out. When Worlds Collide. Um, imprint. Boutique. Australian Blu-ray label from Fire Vision. This is number six. And apparently, these little numbers on here... Me squat. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next one.